tip today is how to pass variables very easily using SWF object from your code into Flash so that you can use variables or other such pieces of information from your code. This is just the code from somethingatomic.com. Uh, if you just do view source, you can see it. And Flash. So if you needed to, let's say, I'm going to make a new document here. If you needed to, and this is ActionScript 2, sorry, I got to lay all this stuff out pass a variable from your website to your flash say some text you would make a text box and make it dynamic instead of static and under your instance name you would name it whatever you need to name it I'm just gonna call this loader underscore txt okay so now that that has a variable name or an instance name in flash we can address variables directly to it so I'm gonna make a new layer and most people always call that one actions whatever one is at the, the highest level because you want those to execute last or first in the order um, in your code and there'll be another tip later on how to use SWF object completely but the easy way to just explain this would be to go find SWF object it's an embeddable JavaScript you can use to place flash content into your uh, web pages and it would be compliant across all browsers saves a lot of hassles um, in your SWF object code at the top under your first embed one of your options is flash vars these will pass variables directly into your flash depending on what file you're embedding so if I did a flash var named print URL which is at the moment here in the source code pointing to somethingatomic.com slash print then in my flash file say on an on enter frame uh, function so I'm just going to do on enter frame equals function open my function you could do loader underscore text remember that's the dynamic text field on that page and do dynamic or er, loader underscore txt dot text that's addressing what it should actually say equals and then this is where you would type the name of the flash var from your document so here it was named print URL clearly there are lots of flash vars being used here but you could name it anything you want and then in flash you would just say loader underscore txt dot text equals Oops. print URL add your semicolon at the end and now anytime this function runs so every time the frame hits the loader underscore text text will be set to the print URL that is defined in your source code now I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes setting this up and uploading the file and everything so that it addresses it and you can see the example because the example is somethingatomic.com just look at the menus uh, we have flash bears here passing in variables for where the flash buttons go to should I ever need to change them because that way I don't need to go back into my flash file and hard code a URL this will pass a URL directly into the flash and it's live and you can pass email addresses for get URLs you can pass titles you can pass anything and this way you can build uh, if you want to use custom fonts on a web page that say aren't Arial or other traditionally pretty ugly typefaces that you have to use on the web you can build a little holder file that embeds your font say your corporate font that you use and you brand everything with and then all you have to do is pass the names of these titles in dynamically using the flash vars here and by doing that not only do you render the type on your page exactly as you want it to be but with the font and the kerning and everything correctly but you end up only having to make one shell file that holds that font and then you can pull in any title you want using the embed SWF option of SWF object and 
simplifies everything. Makes you can. I mean, it's not as easy as just typing text into your field, but this way you're typing text into your field and it's passing it into a holder that makes it look a lot prettier. So in terms of designing websites where fonts and things are really an issue, uh, I've, I've seen this method used before, and obviously I use it. I'm rather fond of it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That would be the quick way to and load in a flash ver from SWF object into flash. You just name it in your code and then you name it in your action script. That'll do it. So I hope it helped. Um, keep tuning in for more videos.